Okay, so the first gift I'm going to show you how to make is some peppermint lip balm. Um, and we're going to be using our peppermint essential oil. Uh, you need shea butter, which you can, um, you can order this online. That's probably the easiest. Or you can, um, you can find it in some health food stores. We're also going to use organic coconut oil and um, beeswax. And then the other thing that you're going to need is your uh, lip balm tubes. So these um, as well you can order online. And uh, I will leave all of the links for you guys um, at the end of the party of, of each of the items that I've used to make the gifts. Um, if you have a double broiler, um, this is what you're going to want to use. Otherwise, you can use my version, which is just the pot and a um, heat safe bowl on top. Uh, put about an inch of water in the bottom of your pan and then put your bowl on top and um, you can do, melt it that way. So you're going to put two tablespoons of beeswax. I grate it um, so that it melts faster. And then you are going to add... <laughs> That's my other helper. <laughs> um, a tablespoon of coconut oil. And then we're going to do two tablespoons. Oh, no, this is shea butter. Two tablespoons of shea butter. It looks like coconut. Mm -hmm. Why is it called shea butter? That's just what it is. Why did you even get shea butter? At the store. Okay, and so once you have that all in your pan, you are just going to um, Mix. stir it until it melts. It'll all melt together nicely. Let's see. All right, and then you're going to want to add um, 10 to 20 drops of your um, essential oils. Uh, like I said, we're making the peppermint because it's Christmas, you know, candy cane, making some candy cane lip balm. Um, but you can use any of your favorite oils in here. I made some awesome lavender uh, is lip balm for my daughter who was having some really bad chapped skin um, around her lips. So I made her some la lavender stuff. One, two, All right, so you're just going to keep um, stirring this until it melts completely. Once it has melted, you're going to take your chapstick tubes um, or your lip balm tubes. You could also use the little, um, you know, the little pots with the, the lids that screw on. You can make it in those as well. And take all of your lids off. These are your empty tubes. Line them up on the counter. It's the easiest way to do it if you ha if you're making. Um, this makes about ten chaps, uh, ten lip balms. Um, just line them all up on the counter, and then you're gonna want to. You can either use pipettes um, or any type of syringe. I'm using uh, just a basic medicine syringe that you would use for like a, a child's um, liquid medicine. And um, you're going to go ahead and turn that off. You want to keep it warm so it stays melted, but it doesn't need to continue cooking. So you're just going to take that off and get your liquid and carefully pour it into your, oopsie, carefully I said. Carefully pour it into your chapstick tube. All right, and then once you have them all full, you can um, take any remainder and just kind of top them off, and then you want it to cool completely. Uh, I actually, um, I prefer sticking them in the uh, in the refrigerator or the freezer uh, for a few minutes just to kind of get them to harden, so they so you can put the caps back on, um, and they they'll start to settle and hey, and mommy. harden up. Hey, mommy. 